Doesn't it always confuse you when your friends get together and some of them are just saying, "Hey, I'm an I person," or "I'm a J person," and you think, "When did this become the norm? When did my friends start talking about MBTI or Myers Briggs? What does all these letters stand for?" In this series, we're going to talk about the history in this MBTI personality test or personality type concept. Today, we're going to get into what each letter stand for. So let's get right into it. The Myers Briggs Type Indicator, aka MBTI, is a personality assessment test that is based on Carl Jung's psychological type theory. It categorizes people into sixteen different personality types. The personality types are usually a combination of four different letters. For example, ENFP or INTJ. There are eight different letters, and these eight letters make sixteen different combinations of four letters, which makes up sixteen different personality types. E. For extroversion, this letter represents people who are outgoing and they get energy from being around people. I for introversion. This represents individuals who are reflective, reserved, and prefer solitude. S for sensing. This represents individuals who rely on concrete details. They are always looking for evidences to prove their feelings. N For intuition, this letter represents individuals who focus on patterns, possibilities, and future implications rather than immediate details. T for thinking. This represents individuals who are almost entirely based on logic, objective analysis, and detached evaluation. F for feeling. It represents individuals who make decisions based on personal values, empathy, and Emotional considerations. J for judging. This represents individuals who prefer structure, organization, and planning. That's why when somebody says "I am a J person," it means that they're very organized and they dislike chaos. P for perceiving. This represents individuals who prefer flexibility, adaptability. They are usually much more spontaneous, and they are always open when it comes to options. And they can appear to be a little disorganized. So here's an example: If a person tells you that he or she is an ESFP, it stands for extroverted, sensing, feeling, perceiving. These people like to be around others, and they have a good sense of empathy. On the other hand, we have INTJ. Which is me. This stands for introverted, intuitive thinking, and judging. We like solitude, and we like to think about everything objectively. And we are most productive when we're by ourselves. And we can appear sometimes to be a little detached and cold. So there you have it. Now, when you're in a conversation, you will not be at a loss when people are calling themselves as a certain type of people by using a certain letter from the IBTI personality type concept. I hope you like this video. And in our future videos in this series, we're going to dive into each combination, aka each personality type. To talk about the characteristics of this specific personality type, and we will include also public figures and famous characters that are this type of personality. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and follow me. And remember, you can always go to my shop, private message me, click the link below, join my video account membership to get my video bundles. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in Shine English, Xiaoyun 课堂 Bye.